Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? It's so nice to see you again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Peya. I'm a paralegal from International Fertility Law Group. I'm currently residing in Beijing, the capital city of China. As you may know, China started its national quarantine on January 23rd. So now it has been four months. How are things going here? Today, I would like to share some updates with you regarding our lives here. Generally speaking, I think um, the life here has almost come back to normal. The reason I'm using the word almost is because although people are going outside, but they are still wearing masks. And also for the restaurants, for the shopping centers, and the public transportations are reopened. Still for the movie theaters, the stadiums, and the schools are still closed. I personally believe that school probably will be the last place that the government is going to open. In regards to the working environment, all the companies are allowed to have their employees to go back to the office um, to work every day. But still, um, people need to wear masks. As far as I know, people try to not to have in-person meeting. Rather, they uh, prefer to have online meeting such as Zoom or WeChat call. Um, in regards to travel, for all the international or domestic travelers who want to get into Beijing now need to have a 14 days quarantine. This rule is not because um, the China, uh, Beijing is the capital city of China, but because there is a district in Beijing that is um, classified as a high risk area. That district is called Chaoyang District, and that's where I live. So I'm currently living in the high-risk area, and that's the reason. Chaoyang District has met the two criteria to be considered as high-risk. The first criteria is that it has more than 50 cases that have ever been tested since January. The second criteria is in the past 14 days, it has a group of people who have tested positive. Um, for the second one, there's a reason for that, because there was a student, uh, like in two weeks ago, he came back from another country and he tested positive, and then his family all tested positive. So there was a group of people. That's the reason that Chaoyang District was um, classified as high risk. And although I'm living in the high risk area, um, still I'm feeling safe um, because I know that people are doing their best to keep distant, to wear masks, and to clean themselves. And uh, in the first week of May, there's going to be a national holiday in China, and that holiday is five days long. I'm pretty sure that people are going outside and they're going to hang out, so um, I will keep an eye on any restriction on the residents um, in Chaoyang district. Um, lastly, I want to talk about the medical supplies. It's definitely easier and quicker to get all the medical supplies right now. However, for any medicines for cold or fever symptoms, uh, when you try to buy it through pharmacy store or buy it online, you will need to register your national ID and you have to describe very detail about um, what's your symptoms. Um, so that's a new way for the government to track all the potential patients. <laughs>